I've always wanted to get into malware analysis, and today I'm gonna show you how I built a setup for it. We're gonna go through dual booting, installing two virtual machines, one based on Windows, one based on Linux, and then setting up a networking between them, so they can talk to each other. For this tutorial you will need a pen drive, 16 gigs for example, totally enough. We are going to install a bootable Ubuntu image on it, so that we can install Ubuntu on, uh, on our PC. And here's how we do it. First you want to install Etcher, a software that will turn our pen drive into a bootable USB with Ubuntu on it. Of course you need the Ubuntu image itself, you can download it from their website. Open Etcher, choose USB drive you want to use, choose Ubuntu ISO file and hit flash. You will need to wait a couple minutes, when Etcher finishes its job you will see this screen. Now you can restart your PC with USB plugged in and enter BIOS. Here you wanna change boot option from the current one to the USB. Now before saving and exiting, make sure to change secure boot to disabled, we're gonna need it later in this video. You will need to do some standard configuration, go with install Ubuntu, choose keyboard layout. I went with install third party software here, but it's not mandatory. Here you want to select erase disk and install Ubuntu, click install now. Once you select the drive you want to install Ubuntu on, then click continue, select your time zone, fill up this information, your username, your computer's name, uh, password, and wait for the installation to complete. Once it's done you will be asked to restart your computer, and once it restarts you will see this menu that lets you choose between Windows and Ubuntu. Now first thing we want to do on our freshly installed Ubuntu is to install VirtualBox. You do it by opening a terminal, first typing sudo apt update to update all your packages and then you want to type sudo apt install VirtualBox. After you do this you can go to your applications, type VirtualBox and it will appear here. Now to get Windows 10 Virtual Machine, go to Microsoft Evaluation Center, Windows 10, Windows 10 Enterprise, download the ISO, and fill this form and click Download Now. After filling the form you will be presented with this page, and go to 64-bit edition here, and as you can see it's uh, downloading. Another virtual machine we need is Remnux or Ramn UX, go to their website, go to uh, distro here, download, and for the virtual box you want to click here, and download this file. Once we downloaded everything we want to set up a uh, first virtual machine which is gonna be Windows 10, so click new, type your name which is Windows 10 exactly, Next, recommended memory size is 2 gigs, but we are going to go with 4 gigs of RAM. Or maybe even more, maybe 8. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 8. I have 32 gigs, so I can go with 8, but uh, 4 is gonna be fine for you if you don't have uh, as many. Click create. Next. Uh, next. Let's make it uh, maybe 80. Because Flare VM will require us to have uh, at least 60, so let's go with 80. Create. And one more thing in settings, you want to go to storage, click on this uh, empty optical drive, click this delete icon, remove it, go back to controller SETA, SETA uh, click this disk icon with a plus, add new choose your ISO image and choose, uh, click the choose button and uh, click OK. Now once you have all this done you can power on your uh, VM by double clicking on it and Windows 10 setup will begin. Now it's a standard process but I'm gonna walk you through the beginning of it which will uh, require some guidance, so first click accept here, to accept license terms, go to custom, click new, apply, ok, and next. Now you need to wait a little bit, be patient, and the rest of the setup is 
just as for the normal Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 setup when you buy a new computer, for example. Okay, there is actually one more thing. When you are prompt with this sign in with Microsoft, click domain join instead, and then go the usual way by uh, setting your username, password, and other stuff. So once your installation is complete, you may uh, spot that it's not uh, fixing the size of a screen when you try to zoom it. So to fix it, go to Devices, insert guest additional CD image. Once you cl click this, you go to this PC and you have this uh, additional CD drive. Double click, choose VirtualBox Windows Editions. Click Yes, Next. Leave everything as default, click install, and it will ask you to reboot your uh, your VM, so click finish and wait for it to reboot. After it's done rebooting, wait a second for everything to load and you should be able to successfully change size of your VM. So of course, first thing you want to do on a brand new Windows 10 installation is to install Firefox. So once you install anything that's not Microsoft Edge, let's go to Flare VM. Let's go to Flare VM, which is a collection of software... Wait. Uh, which is a collection of software installation scripts for Windows systems that allow you to easily set up and maintain a reverse engineering environment on a virtual machine. So, self-explanatory. Here's an installation instruction. So let me open a PowerShell. As administrator, of course, click yes here. Let me, can I zoom in on in PowerShell somehow? Yeah, I can. All right. So let's go to the desktop, CD user, CD script, CD desktop, desktop. All right. Uh, let me copy the first comment, which is the download. Download command, control C, control V, obviously. We have the installation script here. Let's unblock it. Like this. Now, set execution policy, unrestricted force. Okay, uh, all, of the, all of the links that I'm using, you are gonna have in the description, of course, so don't worry. You'll find everything. And yeah, of course, the last command is the running the script itself, uh, which is installing our VM. So it checks, it runs uh, all of the checks. All right, uh, it needs us to disable Windows Defender. I'm gonna use the script that they are highlighting here, the Jeremy's Beam, boom, I, I don't really know how to read your surname, sir, so uh, sorry for this. Uh, but as you can see in the warning, it completely uh, deletes Defender and it's not reversible, so definitely don't run it on any other machine than uh, the machine that you are using for malware analysis. So let's download the script. And, 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 I think that we need to actually turn off Defender for this. I'm not sure, but I assume. Uh, wait, where is it? More settings, real-time protection off. Okay, uh, now go to the downloads folder, downloads, uh, and run disable Windows Defender PS1. Uh, run once, suspend, okay, screw learning, run only script that you trust, while scripts, blah, 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 okay, so run once, uh, press any key to continue, enter. So let me reboot and I will be, uh, I will be right back. Okay, so let me run the installation script one more time. Now after rebooting, again, we are waiting for the checks to finish. And this time we should get no errors, hopefully. If we get any, we will resolve them as always. But it looks like it's all right. Have you taken a VM snapshot to ensure you can revert to pre-installation state? Uh, I mean, we will take a VM snapshot, but after the installation. Okay, password for your user. 
it's very easy to revert just the purely installed Windows 10. So I want to have a I want to have a snapshot with every tool installed, so I, so that I can skip all of this uh, whenever something breaks. After it does some stuff, uh, it will pop this install install customization GUI. Just click OK. Okay, uh, so after some time, I think it was about an hour for me, or maybe a little bit shorter, but yeah, it took a long time. You will have this uh, log.txt. I don't know if you can close it. And uh, type enter to exit. Make sure to take a snapshot after successful installation. You just have to click here, snapshots, and take. Name it fresh install. Snapshot description, uh, let's say with flare vm. Okay, let's maybe flare uh, vm install like this. Because it's not really fresh. And we have our snapshot ready. Once we have uh, Windows machine fully set up, let's go with Remnox. As you remember, we downloaded this .ov, the .ova file, so double click it and it will automatically import uh, Remnox to our, uh, our VirtualBox. So click Import and wait a couple seconds uh, for it to load. Once it's installed, let's uh, double click on it and check if everything went well. Let me move it here. Okay, it seems that we are also good to go. Be sure to create a snapshot for uh, Remnox as well. Next thing is to set up a networking between Flare VM and Remnox. We want all the network traffic from our Windows 10 machine to go to Remnox instead of the uh, actual destination, sort of. Because we want to intercept everything here uh, so that it's easier to analyze the requests that malware will make. First make sure that you, when you go to File and Host Network Manager, you have your uh, network adapter, your host-only network adapter configured, uh, like this. If you do, go to, select your Windows 10, go to Settings, Network, and make sure you have this cable connected uh, unchecked, and also here Network Adapter, Host-only Adapter, and cable uh, connected unchecked. Uh, network, you should also have a similar configuration here with host only adapter. Here you can leave this, uh, this one, this checked. But make sure you have this adapter here. So fire up the Remnox. Wait a little bit for it to load. And when it's done, you can see that if you type IP ADDR, you have, this is your uh, NAT adapter, it's configured, but this one isn't. So what we need to do is to go to, let me first go to, uh, let me first operate a terminal as root. You do it with sudo s. As you can see, instead of Remnox, we are now root. Type nano etc and uh, net. Wait, it's a net plan, am I right? And 01 net config yaml or ym yaml. Hit enter. Here you need to go down a little bit. One, two, three, four spaces. Enp 0s8 colon enter. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Dhcp five. Uh, DHCP4, sorry, no, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, addresses, and specify a static IP address here. I'm gonna go with uh, 168.192.168.56.21. Uh, so remember, uh, wait, where is it? Machine settings, no, uh, here we here we are working on this dot 56. So I had to specify a static IP address from this range. All right, uh, slash 24. And that should be it. Control X, 
Control Y to save and exit. Enter here. Now when you clear and type IP ADDR, uh, we don't have it configured for some reason. Uh, wait. So the problem was that I forgot to reboot. So once you type reboot and hit enter, uh, then type again IP ADDR and you will be greeted with this static IP here. Very well. So you can minimize it. Go to your Windows Flare VM. Here, right click, open network and internet settings. Ethernet, change adapter options and Ethernet 2, double click. You want to go to Internet Protocol version IP, uh, version 4, double click, and use the following IP address. Here we will specify the IP address for this machine, so 192.168.56, uh, and we then went with 21, so let's go with 20 here, subnet mask, uh, it's automatically and default gateway is 192.168.56 and 21 uh, That's our default gateway also Which is the Remnox machine, right? And also the preferred DNS 192.168.56.21 Click OK and OK and uh, yeah, now it should be all configured. If you want to test it, go to machine settings network here, click advanced and plug in this virtual cable. Also set low VMs here, click OK. Wait for it to initialize, it's here. Now open Chrome, go to virtual box, uh, virtual box, what am I talking? Go to uh, Remnux. Now, Python 2 dash M simple HTTP server on port 80, but you need to run it with sudo. So hit enter, it's running. Go back to Flare VM 192.168.56.21, which is the IP address of this uh, Remnux. Click enter. Okay, it took about a minute or so, so I will need to look into it. Why? But as you can see, we have a directory listing for uh, for the home uh, for the home page of our Remnex user, and you can see it's response to hundred, so it successfully loaded. Honestly, I can't wait to test this setup and play with first malware samples. And if you are as excited as I am, hit subscribe button so you don't miss any new malware analysis videos. Also leave a like and if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. See you soon.